animal agriculture industry in the United States is one of the world's largest producers of beef and dairy, as well as pork and poultry products. Farms across the country come in a wide range of sizes, but they all have the same purpose – to produce healthy and safe food and protect resources for future generations. In this video, you will see how different types of animal production vary from region to region, as well as how recent trends in the industry are driving changes in manure management. The dairy cattle that produce your milk, yogurt, and cheese are mostly found in the Northeast, Upper Midwest, and in the Western U.S. Hamburgers and steaks come from beef cattle operations located in the middle part of the country. Your chicken nuggets or chicken breast sandwiches come from broilers, most of which are raised in the Southeast. Layers, which are chickens that produce eggs, are found in most every region. Of course, you cannot talk about eggs without bringing up bacon, not to mention pork chops and barbecued ribs. Looking at pigs in the U.S., you can see those farms are prevalent in the Upper Midwest and in North Carolina. Over the last 30 years, these various sectors of animal agriculture have gone through a great deal of consolidation. Consumer demand for meat and farm economics are driving a trend towards fewer, larger farms with more animals per farm. The U.S. dairy industry is one example. The total number of U.S. dairies declined by close to 50% from 1997 to 2012. While the total number of dairy cows in the U.S. has held steady at about 9 million, the majority of those cows are now held at dairies with more than 1,000 head of cattle. These largest dairies make up only 3% of total U.S. dairies, but they now hold nearly 50% of all U.S. dairy cattle. These larger, consolidated farms produce more manure that farmers must manage. Manure that is properly handled is, and always has been, a key resource in crop production. Farm consolidation has focused more attention on the need to manage manure properly in order to protect water quality. In decades past, manure would be removed from the animal barns regularly and spread out on fields. This is known as a daily haul. Many large farms have moved away from this because it makes it more difficult to follow good nutrient management practices, such as applying at agronomic rates and avoiding spreading when fields are saturated or frozen. Instead, these farms are storing manure in engineered storage structures. This allows the farmer to collect, contain, and store manure until it can be taken out to a field and properly applied as a crop fertilizer. Also in the past, most manure was handled as a solid, often mixed with bedding. As farms have become larger, more manure is being handled as a slurry or liquid. The way that manure is collected depends on how the animals are housed. In barns with solid floors, liquid or slurry can be scraped or flushed and is either pumped or flows by gravity to the manure storage. In some barns, manure falls through openings in the floor into a pit or storage area below. The manure is either stored there or is regularly transferred by flushing or gravity to a separate, longer-term storage structure. Slurry or liquid manure is pumped into a tanker or through a dragline hose for application to crop fields. Solid manure is cleaned out with front-end loaders or similar equipment and put into trucks for delivery to the field. In barns with animal bedding, the manure deposited onto the bedding forms a mixture called litter. The litter can remain there for a year before being replaced. Then it is either put into a storage area, hauled to crop fields and spread, or temporarily stockpiled in a field. However, uncovered stockpiles can be sources of contamination when wet weather causes runoff or infiltration of nutrients and or pathogens. On open earthen feedlots, the solid manure accumulates on the pen surface until it is scraped off once or twice a year and stored until it can be applied to land. The rainwater or snowmelt from these large open lots runs off the pen surface and must be captured. In many hen houses where eggs are produced, dry manure falls to a wide belt that carries it to a storage area so it can be applied to fields or pastures later. 
The methods farms use to collect and store manure represent just a few of the many changes we've seen in animal agriculture over the past few decades. As farms strive to become more productive to feed an ever-growing population, consumers also expect their food to be produced in ways that protect clean water. Meeting these expectations will be a challenge for farmers, but with more awareness, research and education, and conscientious management, we can ensure both food and water are available and safe for the present as well as in the future.